Hi guys, welcome to the video, we're back in the shed again and it's another close quarter sort of thing we're going to do. Back on the Wing Chun principle and it's going to be... Well, we're going to call it chain punching, but technically it isn't, but the principle is the same. And it's going to be the same principle as blitzing in Krav Maga. Sounds like fun. Well, Krav Maga, if you pronounce it correctly. You must enunciate. Right, before we start, we're going to show you the technique behind the things, the, the reason why we're doing it, and we're going to get rid of these things. So Kev, two canes is Kev... Half cane. Half cane. Now, before we carry on... We've had a comment. Which is a valid comment. Why is the half cane that big? Because it's not as long as a standard cane. No. And it is smaller. Or a mini cane is smaller. Yep. So why, oh why, pray tell, forthwith, henceforth, have you selected that size, even though it was me that did it? When sitting in my wheelchair, this gives me the same height when placed on the floor as a full cane. Which is useful. So, Especially for me. So it is longer for a reason and shorter for a reason. Yes. And it fits in the car nicely as well. It's great for the passenger door. It's also handy when you <laughs> go to the shop and we're putting things off shelves and then running away gigging. Yeah, or if any member of my family or friends decide to have a go at me while I'm in my chair, I just basically grab hold of them and they pull me along for a little while. Very useful. Okay, so let's look at the principle behind the chain punch. Chris is going to show you a basic chain punch. My hands are up here. Well, I'll put that down. This represents someone's torso. It could be anything you want to hit. We normally do it with a pad. Wing chun position. So the punch goes out straight, comes back in a circle. The other hand goes out straight. So it's a continuation, and you've seen the video. Wing Chun has been very, very popular since the Ip Man movies came out. Very popular. Which is great. I mean, anything to promote martial arts is good, and you see this overpowering. In Krav Maga, we do something called a blitz, and the rule is a minimum of seven strikes. If in doubt, hammer fist. Exactly. So it's not the fact we're chain punching, it's this continuous motion, very, very difficult to recover if you're being attacked. It's not a knockout by any means, but the idea is it's just basically pushing. A bit like when we did our yeah. short strike techniques, and it sets you up. Our Sifu said, use a small hammer until you get the chance for the big hammer. So you're doing these until you can finish with your big punch. You're creating openings. But can we do this with a cane? The principle and the technique. Considering we've made a video with a thumbnail and it's going to be probably something like how to chain punch with a cane, I reckon we can. So the short answer is yes then. Yeah. Sweet. What we're looking for is this overpowering technique. Now there's various ways we can do this. So this is a drill. 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 And we want a continual flow of motion. So, because yes, I can kick him in the ribs at the moment. I, I would actually pay three pound twenty-seven for you to do that. <laughs> That's how good my finances are. <laughs> so, from our previous video, we had this position. Yeah. So, if I'm chain punch, if I kept hold of the cane and tried to, we have this. This is nothing wrong with this vertical punching. Yeah. So again, peak. Tip, peak, tip. Hit the tip with the peak and hit the yes. tip with the crook. So <laughs> it's you can do it one-handed as well. I want continuous motion. So from my remember when you tried to poke me in the throat? Yeah, I remember. Mm. Payback is so we're assuming we've done the deflections. We've knocked him out of the way. So I can either go straight in, but I'm just doing this grab. I'm pushing, striking. Pushing, striking, pushing, striking. I'm keeping it going. And then when I get to the idea, I can do my big hammer for the finish. Yeah. So it's this roll, 
roll. That's disconcerting. It's very disconcerting. I can change my angles. And we had a few other ideas as well, which we'll, we shall do. Because we like them. Because I've had an idea. <laughs> Love it. Love it. What we'll do, we'll hold this out for the moment. So I keep my fingers well in. You think they're safe, don't you? <laughs> no. Here's my target. Here. 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 I'm going slow. Oh no. Here. Just so you can see. So I'm pushing, retracting, grab, push, retracting, grab. Then you might see your poke, your strike, your drags. But I've had an idea. So am I going to like this idea? You'll love it. We all remember our handy dandy, please don't hurt me, pistol grip position. Now, I recommend looking up a guy called Eddie Quinn Ooh. with the approach system. Absolutely charming man. He's a really good instructor, really good techniques. And he put something on Facebook. Now, he's fond of the hammers, as I, as so am I. Yeah. And good hammer. And then he demonstrated. Now, we get a lot of movements like this in karate. And people say, oh, it's strengthening your block. But there are no blocks. But what he did, as he struck, so Kev puts his palm out for me. Okay. And I strike. I laugh at you. He laughed. If I hold it and pull it, <laughs> and I'm not putting any effort into that, but can we do that with a cane? Stop it. I'll <laughs> do it with a cane. Now, with the cane, hammer, mm -hmm. hammer, hammer. Wow. I'm pulling. I'm pulling it off and then I've got my yeah I can then go into my striking so it's just another way from here would you expect that attack no. if I'm in here I'm maybe expecting this you've got a nice guard there I must admit I do like a nice protection but as I'm pulling now it, I've tried this against a bag and I thought mm, this will possibly hurt me as long as I'm bringing that down and the, the cane is in line with my fist, it doesn't. But it allows me to then take my hand away. Ooh. Oh, look. You've got the um, grab as well with it. There is so much you can see when you do this. We also come up with this bang, strike. Oh, look, vertical punching. Yeah. We like vertical punching. Into our big hands. We like this. So you've very, also got the push and pull on it. We love the push and pull. So if you're coming in from here and you've done this, hand comes back, push pull. Oh look. Push pull. Not the hat. Pull down. It's a fine chin you've got there, sir. You want to break it, don't you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so with this is why we say look at other people and you'll get these ideas. Uh, but please do look up. Eddie Quinn on the approach system. Um, I, I was privileged enough to be able to train with him once, and great guy. He's got um, some DVDs out, so yeah. um, he's not. He doesn't know we're doing this, by the way. But no, um, I, I, I got a lot of respect for the guy, um, and he, he, he's given me some bits of advice over the years as well when I've emailed him. But it's just something he showed, and I thought, can we adapt it? Like with all that system, um, and it's not really our system. We've We've got Kane Masters, we've got Wing Chun, Krav Maga, Hungar, Hungar Jiu Jitsu, White Crane, Jiu -Jitsu. we could go on, but we just keto, look... Keto, Hat Keto, there's loads of things we bring in to adapt it with Kane's, adapt it to my body, adapt it to Chris when he's fitting under the weather. And the weather today is very low. Poor, poor Chris. It's raining. Yeah, I know, I've noticed. But I can do this. So this is the principle. We blocked, we defended. <laughs> Why do anything flash to start with? Yeah. Then you can do your continuous strikes. When you finish with your small hammers, you've got your big hammers and your hooks. When we were talking last week, um, I'm going to try and do this left-handed. I've not practiced this because I've had, a, an, again, another bad week. But Chris was coming over from here. But when he got to this part, he was coming through the do you roll. remember the roll? Yeah. If you do it your side, and I'm going to just move my legs slightly because you don't trust me. No, 
I know you'd feel so guilty if you hurt me. I feel guilty. So basically, if I if I bring a target in for Chris, so we've gone the defence poke, strike, 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 strike. Now I'm expecting another straight line strike to come in, <laughs> but the cane goes away, and I'm like, aha! I'm going to get you. So this is the hole. If you put brings it up again, the small hammer, small hammer. We're doing figure of eight rows as yeah. we like. Big hammer. So you're using the appropriate tool for the appropriate situation. Don't forget, this works equally well. <gasps> Going up, up. up. We do like the up. Yeah. Big up swings. Again, within a small distance, close in, without being able to get these massive strikes going, that roll of the wrist gives you velocity, gives you speed, gives you power. And four times distance, I've increased my length. Yeah. You're increasing your power. So that, would you be shocked if I said I had an idea? Scale 1 to 10? Mm. Mm, no. What if I'm side on? I, you don't have to move, you can stay there. I can stay here. There we go. Yeah. I, better, I better protect myself actually. I just thought of this. Yeah. So this is great. I mean this works sitting, it works standing. Not so great if you're in a chair, if this is in the way, it's got to be fairly high. Yeah. So it's going to be the same idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's put my head over a little bit. You did, you, you did. <laughs> So we're pulling, we're striking, we're dragging, we're doing the same thing, and when I feel like it, I've got my, don't forget, you've got a free hand. This can be your block, your control. Drop down. Pull that out, that would be his arm pulling out of the way. Oh dear, looks like you need an ear piercing. Do I? Or I could just take it as a souvenir. No. Back into your big hammer. So, so with all these things, we always say, we always practice in from here. Practice to the side as well. Yeah. Pit, roll, 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 change sides. It's a good little system. Yeah. So, look at what you do. Say, can I adapt this? Can it work? I've got some really good sacrifice throws from Jiu Jitsu I can do on you. Yeah. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, guys, we hope you can take something away from this video. Um, it's a nice idea, it's, it really works. And again, it's an idea so it can be changed and it can be adapted. Again, it's not going to be the full knockout, it's not going to be able to end the fight. Well, it's could, another tool. I could do that. In the toolbox, could you? Yeah, you're easy. It's been rumoured. I know. So drop us a like, give us a thumbs up, helps the algorithm, it gets us out there because at the moment I think People are just not seeing us. Um, if you are subscribed... You said it. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, could you just check, because we've had a few people email me to say that for some reason they've been clicked off. And I think this is what the algorithm does every year for some reason. Yeah. don't know why, but you know we're only a small channel. Niche within a niche within a niche within a candy shell. Hmm. I was just talking to my niche. Was you? Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, as Paul mentioned, Y4. Y4. Leave a comment. I'm waiting for you. Don't forget to ring the bell, which is apparently down here, which is not as fun as up here. And don't You're up there. <laughs> so, Wing Chun. Wing Chun Jump. It's a Wing Chun Jump. Just. Well, I was just looking, oh, never mind. And don't forget, FTF. Free the fear. This is a ferret free zone. Yeah, but I edit these things so there'll be some words at the pop, I think, this time. You're mean. <laughs>